on. <clears throat> it is um, 5 a.m. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's 5.45 a.m. And I am up making my hamburger soup. So this is what's in hamburger soup. One pound of lean ground beef, one chopped onion, salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning and a little bit of garlic. Three medium potatoes, one package of 16 ounce frozen mixed vegetables, one and a half cups of frozen corn, one can of diced tomatoes, one eight ounce can of tomato sauce, four cups of beef broth. With that, we are going to do a six quart slow cooker. We're going to ground our beef, add our onions. Once the onions are soft, we're gonna add the garlic in um, just at the very end to get it mixed up. And then we're going to drain that. There shouldn't be too much because it's a very lean hamburger. Um, we're going to drain whatever remains are in there and then we're going to put that into the bottom of the crock pot. Once we add that, we are going to um, put in the rest of the ingredients. So that would include, back up here, we're going to put in our three medium peeled chopped tiny, if we want tiny, tiny chops of potatoes our package of frozen vegetables, our corn, our diced tomatoes, our tomato seasoning, and four cups of broth. So that is what this is. We're going to cover and cook that um, for on low for six to eight hours until the potatoes are no longer hard, till the potatoes get soft. All right, here we go. We are going to peel these potatoes. This is fun, isn't it? <laughs> so today is Saturday and I am working again, so I am trying to make this so by the time I come home for lunch, it'll be ready, because I'm getting a runny nose, so I think I need to have some soup. I need some vitamin C and D, so it's getting that time of year. So there is one potato. I think chopping the onion and peeling the potato and chopping it is the hardest thing in this. Because next we're going to ground the beef um, and onion together. I told you I was going to put a little bit of garlic in there. So once that is done, then it's just putting everything together. It's the great part about soup. Especially since I found this one for crock pots. So, that makes it even better. Um, on the beef broth, I did get unsalted. Because if you look, there is only 70 milligrams of salt. I was looking at the ones that weren't unsalted. They were like 870 milligrams of salt. That is a lot of salt. And I retain fluid, so salt in large quantities is not my friend. So we'll see. I will put salt in it also, but I just feel like my salt versus the salt that's inside here is two different salts, you know? All right, now we have our onion that we have to do. I have a white onion. Um, the yellow onions that they had at Walmart, 
were $2.88 each. I'm like, no thank you. So this one was 88 cents. So, an onion's an onion, right? Well, to me, an onion is an onion. All right. So we're going to go ahead and chop up our onion. chopped anything before. It's too early. My brain doesn't work very well anymore. bigger pieces and then a little bit smaller pieces. So some of it still stays a little hearty in the soup. I think that's all I'm doing. Not a big fan. So, all right, we're gonna get the hamburger going now. Okay, so I am using 93% lean. That's all Walmart had. They didn't have anything higher than that. So um, that is what we're going to use as the ground beef. So we will get that going here. blades for it and I honestly have no idea what I did with the thicker blade. Like no idea whatsoever. that up 
a little bit to get it all kind of broken. All right.
While that is browning, we are gonna come over here. to put it all together. So we are first going to add the ground beef and then we're going to add all of our other ingredients, right? Turn this off till I get these out. All right, now we are going to put it all together.
seven hours on low and it is going to be ready by the time I get back from lunch okay I just checked the soup so I just added a little more salt and pepper and a little more um garlic I added some garlic powder to it so it tastes a little better now it was kind of bland anyway we still have five and a half hours it's warm but it is not hot yet so it will be ready for lunchtime oh my goodness if you guys could so smell this right now it smells amazing let's see oh yeah it looks amazing doesn't it yum 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 let's see get a spoon That smells so good. All right, it is lunch time. Okay, this is breakfast. We have Quaker's old fashioned oats. We have, I'm not using salt and pepper. We have ground cinnamon, some vanilla, and we have the half a cup of the oats. So I put that in there. Then I add a cup of water. Then I add a dash of vanilla. And then I add a dash of cinnamon or two. And then I 
mix it with a fork just to kind of whisk it through a little bit. And this is a hundred and fifty calories. And if you're on Weight Watchers, this is three points. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for three minutes. All right, so while the oatmeal is making, I'm going to make eggs. And I use avo oops, avocado oil. Zero calories. Buddy is waiting for his egg also. Buddy gets an egg a day. I was told it was healthy for him. All right, so we are going to make the eggs and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, the eggs are cooking. My side has salt and pepper on it. Buddy's side has nothing on it. And the oatmeal is done. So now I am going to take a teaspoon of sugar and put on my oatmeal. So if you are on Weight Watchers and you make it the way I'm making it, it is only five points. If you use one teaspoon of sugar, it's three, four points. If you use two teaspoons of sugar, it's five points. Sometimes I do a teaspoon of white sugar and a teaspoon of brown sugar. I would rather have the real sugar than the fake sugar. So there you have it. All right, so this is my breakfast. It's 396 points. I'm sorry, points, oh my gosh. 396 calories. So if you are in Weight Watchers, your egg is free. Your oatmeal would be, I used one teaspoon, so four points. Um, I have a piece of bread, which is one point. I have no butter, no nothing on that. I have cream, which is two points, um, and uh, coffee. All right, there you go.